uh, the town hall, and, and you said that at one point that the concept of conflict with China is not unimaginable. Is you, unimaginable. It, oh, is unimaginable. Is, un is unimaginable. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I, yes. I got it, confused. No, no, it's, it's, un, <laughs> no, it's unimaginable. A armed conflict with China is not something that I can imagine. That well, what about the trade situation with China? Well, obviously, we just have another indication uh, that that products may be coming in from China which could be harmful uh, to one's health. That was the subject of one of the questions, Americans' health. I think that WTO options have to be exercised more strenuously where there are violations. Uh, I, I think that it's very clear that they have a huge environmental challenge uh, in China and we see manifestations uh, of that as far away as the United States of America. And we are going to have to, I think, enforce existing agreements we have with them to do everything we can to restore confidence in the American people that their competition is not an unfair one. I can't adjust wage levels between the United States and China. But I can make sure that they don't engage, as one of our young questioners said, engage in illegal dumping into the United States, because that's clearly in violation of the WTO agreements. So I think I would enforce, uh, through existing organizations and existing agreements, violations or prosecution of violations of fundamentals of the free trade that we're supposed to be engaging in. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Senator, um, in your thank you in your uh, in your audience today, I saw only two 